We're doing a live demo of the former drain system, steam curd liner. It's fiberglass and epoxy. Right now, my name is Carl. That's my colleague Stefan. We'll be uh, uh, mixing that resin shortly. You can see it's a two component epoxy resin. You got a blue part and a white part. That's the hardener in the resin. And so we're gonna mix it in a pale blue color. The benefit of the two color components is that once the color is homogeneous, you know that it's mixed well. So you can see Stefan is gonna spread that liner down and then put the epoxy over it. For the purpose of the demo, the amount is not weighed, but usually it is. We have, we've got control quantities over depending on diameter and length. Uh, to make sure that we have the perfect fiber to epoxy ratio. All the fiber has to be covered, uh, otherwise you might have problems with structure because when it's wet out properly, you're going to have uh, a completely structural liner. Here we go for the first layer. So we're going to put the, the other one in with a little overlap. That's going to prevent it from being too thick at some spots. And obviously that's what you want. We have a full, full installation manual provided with every license and a full on-site training as well. That way uh, you're going to be able to uh, install the product properly. And uh, so we do the first few jobs with you guys. I believe our wet out is complete. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll the fiber around the bladder. So we put it at the same level and then roll. All right. For experienced people, for a, a hundred footer repair, that's a two man operation. Right now we're two man on just a few feet, but uh, it's, it's not far fetched to think that you can do the same with uh, with a hundred footer in a four or six inch pipe diameter. Now that that is done, we're going to put a protection layer over it. So, the the liner exactly. So you go to cracks or you lose it or mix, exactly, get mixed with water. If the uh, as if the liner with the pressure loses too much, what's going to happen is you're not going to have that structural integrity you're looking for. Ready to roll. Yep, I have it. I'm okay with that. Roll it around. Oop, 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 oop. There it is. Yep. So now, for the purpose of the demo, we're going to put office scotch tape to hold that layer in place. What we usually do is we U fold it and tape it. Once we've got that set up, usually what we do is we press it and you fold it so that it's even, it gets even smaller so yep. it's easier to get through a clean out and so that the resin and the uh, the fiberglass won't slide off your bladder once you're pulling it in because that's a straight pipe that's very soft but on the when you're doing a real life job usually there are offsets uh, buildups or uh, any any other obstruction you can think of there might be in the in the pipes. I think you're gonna have to press it just a bit. Let's go in. Yep. All right. So all we have to do now is slide it in. It's usually pulled in place. It's pulled in place normally. That one's pushed in place. And now it's inserted. It's in position. Okay. It could be anywhere down the line. It could be. The whole line, just a spot. It's always the same technique with the same materials and the same unit. So it's always the same process to do any size, any length, anything you need. These gauges are the pressure that's inside the bladder. That's the main thing you have to control during the cure. So Stefan's going to put steam inside. Be careful. Yeah, there's a few. You can see the thing going in. Yeah, just put the uh, 
can turn over this. Yeah, put the... There it is, now it's steam. So now it's steam. The pressure has to be controlled. You can see it inflated there. So you're fully inflated, you're right at the pressure. You're at like 10, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. So now that's the right pressure. Is it all open, Tom? Yep, yep, it's open everywhere. It's all opened everywhere. I'm gonna put this there. Yep. So there it is. This cure right there is gonna take about 40 minutes. Uh, and we're gonna have a perfectly structural liner everywhere down the line. It's gonna be steaming for, uh, as I said, about 40 minutes. And once you get it out, once you take the bladder out, it's all set and ready to go. And since it's a steam cured system, if you steamed it for the right amount of time, that's all written in our installation manual, you're 100% sure that the cure is perfect, all the way down the line. So that's one of the big advances of steam cure. We've been steam curing since um, 1994. So from the, it was built, it was designed as a steam cured system. All right. That pipe has been cured for 40 minutes with steam. That was a demo that was done. So now that the cure is done and that it's cooled out, we're gonna take the bladder out and look inside. So there we go. I twisted to break the seal. Usually we pull with a winch, so it's gonna come out. So there you go. Seal is broken and you have a brand new pipe right there.